when we're thinking about this time that we've been through with the pandemic, and so I don't mean just the, the illness piece of it, or the, the fear of that, or all of the things that had to do with the vaccine specifically, but during this period of time, because there were other things going on during this period of time too, that were just either eclipsed or were escalated by the pandemic and what was going on with that. But I, I want to invite people to reflect not only on what their losses might have been, but also what you might have gained. So what you might want to let go of in terms of the pain and the losses. Kind of giving some thought to and naming, what did you lose? That could be everything from kind of a sense of freedom to uh, actually, you know, many of us have lost loved ones or people have lost capacities. What do you want them to release, let go of as we move into this resurfacing phase? Again, what did you gain? Not all experiences during the pandemic were negative. Some were negative and positive, a mix. Some things people learned, maybe reconnected to a sense of kind of what's really important to them or had a chance to slow down. So what do you want to keep? Because I think that's very, very important that what we rediscovered, what we learned, how it maybe made us stronger and better, all of those things, those are ours to keep and carry forward. This is kind of part of what I think our resurfacing and our healing needs to look like, right? It's one to realize that there were some of these positives along with the pains and the losses, that it wasn't a, and the reason why I want to underline that is because all these things that you guys are putting here in the chat, these are all meaningful things right? They've impacted you as a person. They've impacted your children. They've impacted the rest of your family and your community. Do we want to just throw that all away? I don't want to throw away two meaningful years of my life just because I didn't like some of it or because parts of it were very painful. Um, and I know that when we do that, we lose really important parts of ourselves and opportunities to grow. And we can actually prolong our grief and our suffering because we're putting so much energy into just kind of keeping those things out of our awareness. And in order to kind of really be processing and recognizing that pain, we need to have the and, which is these were the things that I discovered that were of value and that were meaning to me. And these are the things that I want to kind of integrate and knit in and move on.